This is the Gepard C Crocodile Baby 5, the newest 5 inches long range drone from Gepard C. And I was out testing it to give you guys my, my opinion on this drone. First of all, Gepard C is promoting this drone as a long range and freestyle 5 inches. This drone comes in three different versions analog, uh, digital, with Vista plus Nebula Nano or air unit plus Vista camera. In my case, my review unit was a Vista with uh, Nebula Nano and of course the first thing that I did was to change the camera to um, a Vista camera. You know, I'm not a fan of the Nebula Nano camera. I understand that it's the camera that is available these days, but whenever I have the chance or if I have a drone that has that camera, I'm going to change it out. When it comes to long range, I found it out of the box really, really good for this. It's very smooth. Gepard C has uh, custom rates, so it makes it fly very, very nicely. With uh, a Lion battery pack, I could get up to around 20, 22 minutes, uh, which I think is a, is a good time for a long range uh, drone. The drone doesn't have props in view, so if you are recording with your DVR on your goggles, then uh, you don't have any props, which a lot of people like. Uh, I, I tend to record with a naked GoPro, so that doesn't matter to me that much. This drone is equipped with a GPS as a long range drone. Most of them has it. A few cool things about it is that one, GPRC has configured in, in beta flight, so out of the box, the GPS is working both for location and speed and all this kind of information that you get on the OST. Plus, uh, GPS rescue is also configured as a uh, fail-safe mechanism. I went out and I test uh, the GPS rescue. It worked without any problem. Uh, the configuration is uh, by default to 50 meters and the drone directly after I, I, I switched to rescue mode, it went up to 50 meters and started flying back to me without any problem. This drone has also included a, a beeper with a 1S battery, which it means that in case that you crash uh, and the battery just flies away, your drone will still have this beeper, uh, which is quite loud, beeping all the time until you find it. If I'm not wrong, I think they're talking about something like 30 hours uh, for, the, for the battery on, on the beeper. So that will give you some time to find it. That together with the GPS coordinate should make uh, finding a, a, a drone that is missing quite an easy task in case that, that happens. So in general, when it comes to flying long range, this drone was fantastic. It was really well tuned. The rates, I, I loved them. It was really nice, to, the feeling when you're flying it. With very, very little throttle, you get the, the drone moving forward. And it, it was kind of weird for me to, to have to use so little throttle to, to move the drone in the air. Uh, I'm not very used to be flying long range and this was uh, one, one very nice experience to get it out and see the view and fly around for 20 minutes, it, it almost felt like th that I wasn't flying a drone. But now we have to talk about the freestyle part of this drone. When I did the unboxing, I was questioning a little bit the fact of one drone working for two different functions. Long range and freestyle are two very different things. Normally long range, you want to have a smooth fly where you don't need a lot of power, you just need to keep moving without having to be uh, up and down in the throttle. But on the freestyle, it's totally the opposite. You need power, you need to be able to recover the drone when it's diving, you need to be able to flip and do things all the time that demands a lot of uh, energy from the motors. And I didn't really find that in this drone. If you want to do some, some freestyle moves like flips and things, you can do it. Uh, I'm not saying that it doesn't do it. What I'm saying is that it felt a little bit like trying to cut a tomato with a plastic knife. In the end of the day, you're gonna cut it. 
but is that the right tool to do that? It's the question. I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of person that I would still say that if I want to fly freestyle, I will be taking one of my freestyle drones and not this one. If I want to fly long range, then this one will be perfect for that. Flying with a LiPo 850 million pair, which is the minimum that GetParC recommends on their page, gave me around 10 minutes of flight time. And this was doing a little bit of a cruising with the drone. I'm assuming that a 1300 will give you a few more minutes if you're still cruising. And if you're doing flips and flops, it will go down in time to maybe eight or something around that which is still pretty good, right? In summary, I think we have a very good drone here if you are looking for a long range drone. I will say that the biggest question mark that I have for you and even for GEPRC is why would I choose this drone instead of the Crocodile 4, for example? And there, um, I didn't get a very good answer from, from GEPRC. They say this one is more uh, robust like it would resist more crashes. But as being a long range drone, I'm not expecting this to be crashing quite often. Beside that, uh, I, I don't really know what's the difference between the Crocodile 4 and, the, and this one. I think the, the flight times are very similar. The Crocodile 4 might have a, a few minutes on top of this one, but not much. Uh, if you're thinking, for example, about different parts, this one, despite it's a five inches, uses a special kind of prop where you need to screw uh, the props like you do with a 3.5 or 2.5 drones, which means that the normal props that you have for your other five inches is not gonna work on this one. And you're gonna have to pack on new, new props just for this. It's the same for the Crocodile 4. You're gonna have to buy four inches props for that one. So it's, it's not a big deal, but just if you have in mind that you, you want to use the other props that you have, they are not gonna fit here. So if you're looking for a long range drone, I would say this one is a, is a good uh, option. If you're looking to use it for freestyle, I would say think a little bit about it. Um, there, there might be some of the choices that are a little bit better. Well, that's all that I have for today. I hope that you like this review. And if you do, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and all those kind of things. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you.